Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel CAT Tutorials for Beginners to Advance. In this tutorial, let's uh, practice Elbow Design 2. So we have already practiced uh, a basic elbow design in our uh, previous tutorial. So let's uh, uh, practice the Elbow Design 2 in this uh, lecture. So here you can see again an elbow type but there is some um, addition of material here. And um, this is some, some kind of different uh, elbow. So again, we'll use a rip command to add the material and uh, we'll remove the material with the help of uh, slot. So let's create this uh, center core first and then based on the profile, we will use a rip command. Okay, so let's go to the cutia yeah, and here start with the mechanical design part design and here name it as elbow design 2 and just click enter or click on OK. So now here we are in the uh, part design uh, workbench. So let us create uh, this profile in the front view. So this is you can see the front view, right? So in the front plane, we'll create that view. So again, use a position sketch, select the YZ plane here and then click on OK. So here let's select this uh, profile and then, sorry, the escape and again, let's select this profile here and create this profile so again uh, here we want to create that uh, arc so the arc is having the radius of 100 so as the diameter is 200 so let's use the corner here and then select this first line select the second line and just select here okay and then uh, just change the radius here 100 and then you can change the dimensions here uh, let's say from this to this and then again select from this point to this one so here uh, let's provide as 150 because this is of 70 so let's provide it of 150 mm and again here provide at 150 mm so now we have this uh, center core ready you can just exit the workbench so in the part tree you will see that uh, sketch is created and you can uh, name this as well so just right click here go to the properties and then go to the uh, feature properties here and then you can just name it to center curve so the naming is very important uh, so that we can identify uh, the exact uh, curve here with the help uh, if we have provided the naming convention okay so now let's create a profile so uh, now we'll create a profile and I want uh, to create one plane. So let's create a plane and it will ask for the plane type. So here I want to create a plane which is normal to this, uh, this uh, curve and then th through this point. So just select the plane type as normal to curve and just lock this as sometimes based on the geometry the plane type gets changed automatically. So to disable that you can change uh, it to this and you just lock it lock it from this button and then select a curve here and the by default the point will be taken in the middle so now i want to just select this end point if you want to create a, any point on this curve you can just right click here and then create a point so once you create it you will get the point definition and again it will ask for the different uh, point types so whether you want to create with the coordinates on the curve on the plane and based on that uh, the, the below options will get changed so as it is currently selected as coordinate it will ask for the coordinates if you try to change it to curves here then again it will change uh, the below options so let's close this because I, I want to create it at the end point so just select the end vertex here and then click on ok so now we have uh, our plane ready now we can create a profile on that particular plane so just select a position sketch and select this plane here and then just click on ok and here uh, you can create a circle profile so select this and create a circle and provide a dimension so if you see here the, the, the outer diameter so here this is 150 so select that create a 150 mm diameter here and then exit the workbench so now uh, we have the center core and the profile now you can use the reap command here and you can see here uh, the material removing uh, options are disabled because there is no material added in this uh, 
uh, design right so just select this rib here and then select the profile and then select the curve here and if you pre preview it you can see the rib has been created and now you can use uh, other options as well so let's create this pad first this pad here or else you can simply uh, use a slot first so let's create a slot first so again i will sketch on this plane here and then you can just select this fit all in option so that it will be in the it will be in the visible screen so just select a circle again and then here the diameter is 140 so again select a 140 here and then exit the workbench so now we can use the similar center core here you can just right click here and then show it then it can be displayed here and now again you have center core and the and the profile so now you can see the all the material removing uh, options are enabled again so pocket uh, the groove and the slot so let's select the slot here select this profile and then select this center curve and then you can preview it you can see uh, the slot has been created and now this is hollow okay so now let's move ahead now you can create this pad here again uh, the diameter of it is uh, 160 so let's create a diameter of 160 so again i will sketch on this plane let's select this plane or maybe you can create a sketch on the on this space as well so let's select this and now again i will create a circular profile here provide a diameter of 160 160 right yes and then exit the workbench so use a pad command and just enter 70 mm length so now you can see the pad has been created again we will create a similar one on this face here so if you want to again create a plane you can create you can just show it and you can use a plane here again select the curvature and select this point now and you can see the plane has been created at this end point and which is normal to the curve so again select this sketch and then click on ok here so again we will create a circular profile here provide a dimension let's say 160 and we will again create a pad here of 70 mm length So now we can create, we can just uh, provide the edge fillets here. So select the edge fillet and select the edge here. Select this edge and maybe you can try this as well. And click on preview and just click OK. So you can see the fillets has been applied and now we can just use a slot here. So we know this is a plane and this is our so now uh, we can again use a slot here let's try that okay so we have already used it okay no need to worry so again just use that uh, for the sock uh, for the uh, pocket here you can see what is the diameter it's 150 155 so sketch on this face now and then you can simply create a one more circular profile and provide a diameter of 155 exit the workbench and now use a pocket command and just keep it depth as 70 and just click on ok so now you can see the pocket has been created similarly uh, do on this here as well so again just select the position sketch and draw a sketch on this plane or on this face so again provide a dimension of 155 and then exit the workbench and now again here you will use a pad of 70 just click on ok 
so now uh, the part is ready and now we can just simply uh, provide the edge fillets so just try to provide the edge fillets so let's uh, select here uh, the edge fillets okay so select this edge and then again select this edge here and then try to preview it just click on ok and again we will include one more edge here uh, from this side as well so again double click it and you can just select multiple edges here as well so select this edge and this edge and just click on preview click on ok so now you can see our part is completed So thanks for watching this video hope you have enjoyed watching it please do subscribe our youtube channel for such more videos thank you so much